this is the Mixels Newsers Max, and this is the review and build for it, so stick around, guys. Okay, so we got regular mic, Chopper, and Teeth McGee here. And they're very excited because they're about to be turned into the Newsers Max. Yeah, so we're going to break them down. I have a couple of containers here because I, I learned from my last mistake. These are just X pods, which I use for building. And then I have a, um, a food container there. And we're going to break them down into their components. Mostly uh, blue in the one, yellow in the other, and then the rest probably all together. So let's go ahead and jump into the deconstruction phase. And that's, that's it. That's all the pieces. I ended up putting most of the bigger ones in there, a lot of the littler ones in there, and then some of the mediumer stuff, including eyes and ball joints in there. So I kind of have something there to go off of. Now I'll get those instructions up for the Nuzo Max and we'll start building him up. That's the Newser Max. We got a lot of little parts still left over. A lot of a lot of good buildable stuff, so that's a positive kind of. Except they could have maybe used those a little more efficiently in this build. Now we only have the uh, limited amount of ball joints that the Newsers came with, and they went into the legs here. And they could probably keep them up, but they added this little boat piece there, the little wedge to keep him so he stands very well. He's very heavy and wide, so he can't exactly, like, pose up a ton like much. And he's only got so much movability from those, so not in love with that. On the back, you've got the propeller. I kind of like that. It's a fun thing. I like propellers on my builds. The brown is kind of jarring. There's brown there and then on the back of the feet. So his one ball joint hand can only move so much. Can't really bring up the mic to the front of his mouth. He does have handles up there, so he can kind of talk. He's supposed to be some kind of camera. He does have the film reel and then a little light there on the side. Boop, boop, boop. I, I like the amount of movability he gets from the mouth. I like the overall shape of him. Kind of reminds me of some kind of big, almost like a rhino, but like, you know, a monster. He's a fun monster. The rotating of the eye doesn't let him see straight forward, which isn't great when you're looking straight down at him. but. You know, you can kind of wiggle the head to the side a little bit, and he, he looks like he's got a lot of personality. This arm, pretty useless. It's a big microphone thing, and he can kind of scoop stuff towards his mouth, but it's just so limited. It can rotate, and he can move back and forth. Not not a much to go on there. Overall, I don't I don't know what it, what you're hoping for from him. He's kind of a news monster. 
I definitely don't know what to, to make of him. A lot of potential, and it just kind of feels wasted to me. But I like the color scheme. So that's, that's positive. And the printed pieces are fun. And you do end up with an extra mixed TV uh, two by two circle. I have one here somewhere. Yep. So you got that. So maybe you can use that in another build then. Anyways, that's the review. Thanks for stopping by. Do whatever it is you do to videos, guys. Thanks.